three GPS watches, all designed specifically for golf, but all with different levels of functionality. Of course, they come in at different price points too. The question is, which one of these is best and which one is right for your game? Let's go and find out. So in this video, we have for you three Garmin watches. We have the entry level S10, the S40 and the S60. And there is a difference in price of around about £250 between the S10 and the S60 at the other end. And it's not an insignificant amount of money, so that's why it's important to have a good think about which one might be right for your game. Now, I tested all three of these watches at Royal Ashdown Forest Golf Club. I played 18 holes. I used each watch for six holes so that I could compare and contrast the performance between them. And before I get on to how each of the watches is performed individually. Just a quick word on what you can expect that's the same across the board. Now each of these watches comes with 40,000 golf courses preloaded onto them. It's an enormous database and it means that wherever you go and play it, you should just be able to turn the watch on, uh, head out to the first tee and have all the distance information you need on your wrist. In terms of how that information is displayed, each of the watches offers uh, front, middle, dis uh, back distances to each of the greens, plus yardages to dog legs and key hazards. Uh, you can also keep score using each of these three watches, which is a handy feature that some of you might well use. Okay, so that's how uh, they're the same, but what about the differences? Right, let's take a look at the performance, starting with the S10. The S10 is going to cost you somewhere in the region of £140 and for that price you are going to get all of that basic functionality I talked about and in real terms what that means is you'll get all of the distance information you should really need while you're out on the golf course. During the, the uh, stint that I had this on I didn't ever find myself wanting to know what the yardage was to a certain point on the golf course that the watch didn't tell me. Now I'm willing to concede that might happen at some point, it probably will at some point but 99% of the time you'll get all the information you should need from this watch. Uh, it has a, a black Black and white screen and the information is displayed very very clearly on it so you di I didn't find myself in uh, bright sunlight ever looking at the watch and not being able to see what was going on. Uh, it's not the most stylish watch in the Garmin range, it's not designed to be but it's incredibly functional and I think the key uh, talking point for me with the S10 is just how lightweight and sleek it is. I must admit that over the years I haven't tended to wear watches on the golf course because I've been a bit concerned about the strap catching on the cuff of my clothes or rubbing on my wrist while I'm playing golf. Uh, clearly with all three of these watches actually it's something that you needn't worry about anymore. It's something that the manufacturers have taken very uh, seriously and these straps are very sleek and I think it all goes to speak to just how uh, simple and effective uh, this watch was. So turn it, from turning it on, from finding the, the satellites to updating the distances, it was effortless. So if you are someone a little bit like me that likes their sort of golf technology to be effortless and to work with you as so that you don't have to faff around very much, then the S10 does come in at a fantastic price point and it might just be the one for you. Okay, so the S40 is going to cost you somewhere in the region of £240. And for that extra investment, what you get is a 1.2 inch uh, colour screen that is a touch screen as well. So you can move the flag around on any hole. And for me, that was the most useful bit of extra functionality, I think, from the S40. So a good way of describing it is to look at the hole behind me. This is a typical scenario on the golf course. The pin has been tucked, the green keepers have tucked the flag in a back corner behind a bunker. And if you had around about 100 yards into this flag, you'd want to be quite aggressive, but really you need to know what the yardage is exactly to that flag. And I think more importantly, you'd want to know what the yardage was to carry the bunker on the right-hand side that sits well over halfway up the green. You can do that by moving the flag around as you prepare to play. So that it just enables you to be that little bit more precise, knowing what the yardage is to carry the bunker on the right-hand side without going too far over the back of the green gives you a much tighter uh, dispersion, will allow you to be more aggressive and more confident in the knowledge that you've got the right yardage. Now, uh, in terms of extra functionality as well, the S40 is compatible with Garmin CT bundle, that's Garmin's shot tracking technology. So if you're someone that wants to track how far you're hitting the ball while you're on the golf course, what your stats are like, where your misses are happening, the CT bundle will enable you to do that and it's compatible with the S40. In addition to that, you also get 
uh, smartwatch capability so you can pair it with your phone you'll get your notifications through on this watch you'll get a whole host of other uh, functionality as a result of that as well where this watch really comes into its own is that it's the most stylish I thought of the three so it's very very slick just as slick as the S10 um, but the with the the circular screen, the chrome bezel, the grey strap, and there are a few different strap options available with this watch. I just thought this was the most stylish of the three. So if you are somebody that wants to use your watch on and off the golf course, then perhaps the S40 is the way to go. Okay, so at the top end of the range is the S60 watch, and this one is gonna cost you just shy of 400 pounds and for that you'll get all of that extra functionality that I talked about with the S40. It can be used as a smartwatch, uh, it has the capability to be paired with Garmin CT bundle for shot tracking but in addition there are some extra functions that I found really helpful and there are three in particular that I want to talk about. The first is the ability to see the hole from above. So as you stand on a tee you will see the whole of the, um, the, the challenge that you're facing from above. It's a bit like having a course planner on your wrist and if you are someone that travels around plays a lot of golf courses that you don't know very well that ability to see the hole from above can be really useful and because this watch has a 1.2 inch uh, color touch screen you can touch a certain point in the hole and it will give you the distance you need to that point let's say you just want to hit the ball into a certain area on the left hand side of the fairway you can tap the screen find out what that distance is and it can be really useful the next thing to talk about is dynamic green view. Now let's say that you stood on the fifth tee and you've hit a bad tee shot, you sprayed it way to the right and you find yourself on another fairway attacking the green. With the S60, the S60 will automatically update so that you see the green that you're attacking from the angle that you're attacking it from and it will display the distance information from that angle. It's really useful. So you might find yourself coming from another fairway needing to carry a bunker that you really weren't thinking too much about when you were hitting from the middle of the fairway. This will give you that information. It is a really nifty bit of innovation from Garmin and something that I think golfers uh, will really benefit from. And the third thing to talk about is the big numbers setting. So if you are somebody that struggles with your eyesight a little bit, let's say, uh, you can put it into the big numbers setting. It changes the display. It makes it really simple to see the information that you need on the screen. So that's the S60. And I think uh, those people that should be thinking about this are the ones who really think closely about the game. Let's say you're really trying to improve and that you want all of the distance information you need to improve. And the S60 offers you a level of functionality that you just don't get elsewhere. Uh, in addition to that, if you're going to use that smartwatch functionality or the CT bundle, then the S60 might well be a great option for you. So there you have it, three uh, really good watches actually for, from Garmin. And I think the key point about all three of them is just how as Garmin are designing these watches, they really are thinking about the golfer. The golfer is very much at the forefront of their minds. You can see it with the functionality on offer and it really shines through with all three of these watches. If I was to pick my favorite, I think it would be the S40. I love the color touch screen and I think that this is just, is the most stylish and therefore would be the most usable for me on and off the golf course. Having said that, I think your decision needs to be based more on whether or not you, use, you will use the extra functionality and what your price point is. Once you've thought about those two elements, you should be able to find the right watch for your game. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video today. Uh, if you like what you watched, please do hit the like button and also comment below. Have you used GPS watches in the past? If so, tell us about your experience. It can be really useful for other people out there to hear about what you've experienced with GPS watches. It can really help inform the buying decision. Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.